Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. A group of young men and women who claim to have been done an injustice through a private company in Kolpiti, which promised them employment and education overseas, submitted a file to the Criminal Investigations Department today. Protests were ignited regarding this foreign employment and education organization in Kolpiti recently, following allegations that they had broken promises and defrauded their clients of their money. <laughs> We submitted a file to the CID today on behalf of all the students who have been treated unjustly by Kos Lanka. The youth have lodged more than 50 complaints over the past two to three weeks at the three police stations. They say that the Kos Lanka company has sent over 8,000 people overseas already for education and employment. We asked them to show us at least 500 of these people who have been sent overseas by Kos Lanka. During a serious investigation, Minister Lakshman Kiriala said, the students who have been done an injustice should complain to the police and the CID branch. We have done this today. CID branch will family done the gala. Are they copy kara? In April 2016, I paid Kos Lanka 120,000 rupees. They said I would receive my visa in three months. The chairman of Kos Lanka called me and asked me to pay the balance 430,000 rupees. On the 15th of July, I paid this balance amounting to a total of 550,000 rupees. I was working in the hotel sector and I sold my motorcycle and everything else in order to go overseas. On the 21st of February 2017, they sent me to Malaysia, but nothing was as they promised. <laughs> Meanwhile, a student registered with his organization visited the Valley police yesterday to lodge a complaint. I paid a sum of 260,000 rupees and submitted my original degree certificate and educational certificates to Kos Lanka in order to travel to Japan. It has been nine months. They have not returned my degree certificate to me. Filing a complaint with the police, I received 190,000 rupees of the money I had paid, but my degree certificate has not been returned. I have visited the police on three occasions now and wasted my time. I came to the station at 9.30 this morning and they have not come here to face the complaint. While a case against this organization is being heard in court, the chairman of the organization was previously arrested and released on bail. While several complaints have been lodged with the Kolpiti and Valikada police stations regarding the issue, the complainants have expressed displeasure at the pace at which the police investigation is progressing.